What's up guys, Nick's Aviation here back with another video. And in my last video, I said I would do an unboxing of an Airbus A380-800 in the new Lufthansa livery. And here it is right now. Unlike all my other videos, this is actually a 1 to 250 scale aircraft. By the way, if you didn't see any of my other videos, those aircraft were the aircraft that were unboxed. And make sure to go check them out. I go into detail in a lot of these aircraft and I also go into some's history. So, cool thing about this, my mom actually got this at the Frankfurt airport while she was in Frankfurt with a stopover while she was coming back from a vacation in Bari, which is this small Italian town. So let's get right into the unboxing. By the way, just one more thing I forgot. This model is made by Limox Wings. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But something that's also really cool is it does have the specifications of the aircraft, like wingspan, length, and height. So if you are at Frankfurt Airport, I do not know where she found it, but make sure to try to go pick one of these up. They're pretty nice. So this is a plastic model, not the most fancy die-cast models like I have. So I'm actually going to be doing a size comparison a bit later with another A380 that I have. And let's just take out the rest of the pieces in here. Looks like, oh, one just fell. There we go. All right, so now I like how you have to piece this one together. So something that you will notice is this is in Lufthansa's new livery, which I do not think they actually have on the A380 because they only have them on their newer aircraft like the 7478i. This is an only dark blue and white livery other than the one yellow part that is right by the door, but those aren't actually a part of the livery. All right, so let's just put it up on its stand, and then I will go into detail about it. All right, so here you have a big, a actually pretty big model. If you look at it in, in comparison to my chest and my face, it's actually pretty big. So as you can see here, you have the cockpit windows, the Star Alliance logo, and the Lufthansa logo all right here. And if you didn't know, Lufthansa has been a part of the Star Alliance for a very long time. There's the L1 door, L2 door, and then you have the upper door, which is meant for first class. Something that I actually really like about this model is how creative they went with the windows. If you can notice, some are just painted in white, which means they're closed. So I really like that, and I don't actually have a model that is like that anywhere in my collection, so this is... This is a pretty cool thing to have and see on a model, and I really wish that more models that I unbox are like this. So as you can see, you have the big Lufthansa prints on the front. You have the nice Airbus A380-800 print right there. I can see it, but I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Oh yeah, kind of did. It's just a bit fuzzy. So then as we move down, I'm gonna review the engines first. I don't think the, I think these are pretty accurate in like comparison to the actual size of the aircraft. I like how they have very nice detail inside the engine, but on the sides, there's not much detail at all. That's the one thing. Then you have the nice part of the engine in the back where it has that nice little point, like that. Then you can see in the back you have the registration, which is D-A-I-M-B, which I actually don't know if that is a Germany registration. Or actually, yes, it is. I was thinking it was G, but that's actually the one for the UK and Great Britain. You have the German flag right here, because Lufthansa is Germany's flag carrier or national airline. You have the nice big Lufthansa logo right here in the back. You have nice ailerons that are nice and big. And then you have huge flap prints and spoiler prints. And also very nice flat print, uh, slats prints, I'm sorry. Then I do not exactly know if there's actually supposed to be this big black thing there. And I think there are actually supposed to be arrows over there. But uh, I actually really like this model, and as you can see, it doesn't have any landing gear, but it does have the Limox logo right there. But it does look like the gear is up. As you can see, there is detail with the gear in its bay. So now, as I said earlier, I'm going to do a size comparison with another aircraft. It is 1 to 50, and something, it's one of my favorite models, the Emirates Airbus A380-800, except this is a 1-200. This is a massive aircraft. So I'm gonna take this one off its stand. As you can see, it has nice accurate landing gears and the Emirates print. This is a very, very, very limited edition aircraft right now because 
as you can see there, Cristiano Ronaldo, he's a soccer player who plays for Real Madrid. He no longer plays with them, so they no longer make this model. So then you can kind of see this is a very nice model. I love it. This is actually a Sky Marks model that I picked up at AV World, which probably still has this model in stock. So once this whole pandemic thing passes over, you guys should go check out AV World. It's an awesome store. This is where it's where I get all my models. So then as you can see here, you have a nice size comparison between the two aircraft. You can see that the fuselage of the Lufthansa is a lot shorter than the Air A380 of the Emirates livery. You can also see the height. It's different. I'm holding it up just so because the landing gear is there. So something that I really like about this aircraft, once again, is the create activity on the windows but one thing it does have lack of detail but it's cool because i got it in frankfurt and it's a memory that i will have for a very long time so thank you very much for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and go check out av world as i said and also be sure to come back and check out my next videos they will be i will be unboxing these next aircraft here so thank you very much once again, fast flights and smooth landings to you.